Welcome to this full demo of BizBusy. BizBusy is a project and tasks management software, and in a broader sense, BizBusy allows you to manage all your professional and personal activities, such as a communication campaign, a recruitment process, or daily business tasks. With BizBusy, you can organize and manage personal tasks as well, since we know that nowadays your professional and personal life tend to get mixed up. And if you want to be well organized, you need an overall view of what you have to do while sharing professional tasks with your colleagues and personal tasks with your loved ones. The first thing you do in BizBZ when creating a project is to choose whether it is a personal project or a professional project. Here, for this demo, I created a project to design a new logo. I created task lists representing the three steps of my project, design, production, and setup. I can create as many lists as I want, and within every list, I can create a task very easily. I just have to type the name of my task and hit enter. I can move this task from one list to another, and I can mark it as completed like this, and a task will move to this part. By clicking on a task, I can display more information. There, you will find the three dimensions used for project management. What, what do I have to do? When should I do it? And who will do it? In the What tab, you can specify a progress percentage. You can also set this task as a priority, but I will get back to this later. And you can also set the task as a confidential task. It is very useful in case of a shared project. For example, when working with a client, if you have a task for your team only and don't want your client to see it, only members of a confidential task will be able to see it and access it. You can also add comments and attach documents here. In the When tab, you can schedule your task, set up a start and or an end date or a duration. And you can choose if you want to work with days or hours. You can also use this calendar here to schedule your task and you can set up a reminder. You can also mark this task as a milestone task, but I will also get back to this later. In the Who tab, you can assign members and for each member, add specific actions. You can also track time and thus separate the task duration from the workload and specify for each participant the initial intended time and then the members can add their achieve their remaining time then the total and progress will be automatically added. Another aspect of efficient project management is communication. Unlike other apps and softwares that send you so many automatic notifications that you don't actually read them, at BSBC we believe that individuals know when they need to share information. So our users can use on-demand communication. This is what we call a buzz. By default, all members assigned to the task are listed as recipients of this buzz. You can remove a member or add one, and you can also add a personal note to draw attention to a specific element. All the members listed as recipients will receive a notification on their smartphone as well, since BizBusy is available for iOS and Android and can be downloaded for free in the App Store and Play Store. You can also create meetings and send Outlook invitations directly from BizBusy. You can select members from your team and you can also send invitations to people who are not BizBusy users. You just have to add an email address and they will receive the invitation. Depending on the answer, you will see here who will attend. You can also add tags to a task which allow you to specify information such as a status or a category. And here is a recap of all the time logs added to this task for every member. I told you about priority task. And so in BizBZ, we want to set up good practices. So for each task list here, 
there cannot be more than two priority tasks. So for example, if I click on this task to set it as a priority, you can see that the last task will automatically go back to the regular task list. That way, users have to define their priorities clearly. So this is our what view, which is like a Kanban board. Now we will display all these tasks in a timeline in the when tab. Here you will find a Ghent chart. You can move a task to reschedule it and also change its duration. You can create links between tasks and if you move a task linked to another one, they will both move accordingly. I talked about milestone tasks earlier. They are materialized here with the arrows on both sides. And if you want to move a task linked to a milestone task, you will see the time limit here. If you are tracking time on a task, you will see when the achieve time is higher than the initial time that way. You can also manually adjust the task to fit the achieved time. Earlier, we saw how to create a task in the what view, the test task here. We can schedule it directly on the timeline and even add a link to another task. This display is in the chronological order, but you can also display your tasks in the task list order defined in the what view. So we have here the different steps of the process and a gain chart for each step. You can customize your display if you want to order the tasks in a different way. You have here the start and end date of your project. You can use them to reschedule your whole project. For example, you can set your end date in order to match your deadline and see when you should start your project to finish it on time. You can set the level of zoom here from the hour level up to the week level, which allows you to display almost a whole year on a single timeline. If you are using time tracking, you can click here and you will find all the times for each team member, for each phase, each task list, and each task. You can also export this to Excel. Now we'll go to the Who view, which displays all the information in a team schedule. You will see all the tasks assigned to the project members. You can also update your planning here and see the consequences for all members. If you want to move a task, you can do so here, and you can also see that way the time limit. Again, you can display time tracking by clicking here. This time, it will show for each project member their assigned tasks and the time for each task. You can export this you can export this to an Excel spreadsheet and you will see the time for the whole team and you will also get a tab for each member, which allows you to use it, for example, for billing purposes. For each project, you can edit the settings. The project colors can be changed here and you can also invite members here and manage their access rights. Different status are available. For example, no access if you want to take the user into account, but you don't want them to see the project. Read only means the user can add comments, mark actions as completed and add their time, but they can't modify the planning. Modification means that the user can create tasks and modify the planning. You can also have several admin on the same project. They can duplicate a project, invite members, and so on. If you want to go further in your project and time management, you can set working hours. For example, if you set Wednesday as a day off, and then if you plan a task with a duration of five days on a, starting on a Monday, it will end on the following Monday. You can also add holidays. You can duplicate projects, as I mentioned earlier. It is very useful if you want to create a template 
and then duplicate it and share it with your team. In that case, you can archive the template project that you want to keep for future reference. You can also synchronize the tasks of a project with your Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar with Office 365. Earlier, I told you that you can manage different activities with BSBC. We saw here the project for the creation of a new logo, but you can also manage, for example, a recruitment process. You can create a task list with all the candidates and then materialize your process with different lists for each step. For each candidate, you can add comments and attach their resume. You can move a candidate from one step of the process to the next step. Here at BSBZ, we also manage our team vacation. You can manage administrative tasks and so on. As I said before, you can also manage personal tasks. For example, your shopping list. You can use it on your mobile while at the store. You can check an item when it is bought and then when you realize at home that something is missing, you can just put it back on the list. Personally, I also prepare my vacation on this busy. I created a packing list with the items that I will need, and I also listed what has to be done before I leave. And since I have a two-week holiday, I listed ideas and information for each week. These are just a few examples, but I just want to show you that you can materialize and organize all types of processes in BSBZ. When you are managing several projects, you need an overview of everything. And so there is a multi-projects view. On each view, you can use filters to select the elements that you want to be displayed. You can choose from different categories. You can select one or more projects or even folders. You can select one or more member and choose task status like late or completed. Here, I selected three projects, four members and only tasks that are not yet completed. I'll see on this timeline the task from my three projects. I can also modify or reschedule a task and see the impact on the whole planning. You can see your tasks here in a multi-project scan chart. By clicking here, you can also use the time tracking report. You will see for each project the time spent by your team on the different tasks. You can also export all of this to an Excel sheet. And something very interesting in our multi-projects views is the calendars view. It displays for each team member all the tasks to which they are assigned. You can also use a full screen mod, which is very useful when you are presenting a project during a meeting, for example, or when you want to block all distractions while working. You can also use it to take screenshots to be added to a presentation. You can keep on working on your projects while using this mode. Move a task, add comments, and so on. All BSBZ can be used in full screen. Earlier, I sent a buzz to other team members. You can see it in the notification center. Here is the task from which I sent the notification. You can access the task's history and see all that happened on this task. You can also receive different types of buzz. For example, when new features are available, when you set a reminder, or share a project with other members. You can also display received rewards. In BSBC, you can send customized rewards to thank a member of your team. Here, you'll find our online help available at any time and which presents all of our features. Here, you can access your dashboard. There is a global dashboard that displays an overview of all your projects. You can view at a glance key information, such as the progress, the highest delay, or the total duration of a project. You can click on a project to see more details by task list and by task. You can see here which task is late, which is completed, in time or yet to come. 
You also have an individual dashboard displaying all your tasks by category. Late, for tomorrow, for the next seven day, and so on. You can customize this dashboard and create your own lists. There is also a customized dashboard for you and your team. For example, if I want to see all the late tasks for a specific project and for the whole team, I can create a dedicated card. Then if I click on the card, I can see all the related tasks. To manage your team, click here. You will find all your team members displayed like a directory. To create a member, you need to add three information, first name, last name, and email address. You can invite them and then share projects with them and manage their access rights to each project. You have here all the invitations, pending, received, or rejected. Here you can see all your collaborations for your projects and projects shared with you. For every project, you can see the participating members and their access rights. There is also a very powerful search tool that allows you to search the whole application, even in attached documents titles. It will display all the results by category. By clicking on the search results, you will be able to access the task directly. Since we know that project management is not always fun, we added gamification features. Users can earn badges by using BSBZ and access expert levels. Our team works with expert users in order to improve our, app our application and they can access some features as a special preview. On a voluntary basis, these users offer us feedback. Finally, you can customize the app with your logo and colors. This modification is also displayed on the mobile version of BSPC. This demo is now over. Should you have any question, feel free to contact us directly on our online help center available in BSPC or on our website. Thank you for your attention and I hope to see you soon on BSPC.